Well, Brian, when it comes to new technology, California is definitely leading the way, but today Google is threatening to pull out of the California marketplace unless DMV changes the rules on driverless cars. When it comes to technology, the future is already here. It was amazing. And it was awesome. Jesse Lorenz and has been I blind since birth, but recently she got to operate a self driving vehicle from Google. I pushed go, and it was like part of me was terrified, and also a larger part of me was completely exhilarated because the future is now. But it will take DMV another year to craft new regulations on driverless vehicles. Hence this public hearing today in Sacramento. Rules for the public use does require a person in the vehicle. It also requires pedals and a steering wheel. DMV says it's all about safety, but Google is warning the rules are too restrictive. And on the basis of the DMV's proposed regulation we're discussing here today, it will not be available in California. Consumer groups are concerned that driverless technology is still unproven. Construction they can't handle. John Simpson of Consumer Watchdog supports DMV's insistence on having a driver, arguing that driverless cars are not reliable. They cannot handle rain. The, the sensors don't work, can't handle snow. Google is testing 45 self driving vehicles right now, and for many in the disabled community, the issue is independence. I am a single mom to a beautiful little girl who starts kindergarten in September, and I want to be able to drive my little girl to play dates instead of taking public transportation. As you can see, strong emotions on both sides of the issue. DMV will be holding another public hearing coming up next week in Los Angeles, and then the very hard work ahead of trying to strike a balance between freedom and safety. I'm Mike Lurie reporting live.